Hey guys, it's Brandon here. The iOS 5 jailbreak came out and I've been noticing some people having some troubles with other people's jailbreaks and so on and uh, I'm going to be doing my own iOS 5 jailbreak here really soon and sorry for the boxes, I just barely moved. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of the time people have trouble with these jailbreaks, uh, whether they download the wrong software, whatever it may be, and they usually come up with like a white screen that just says, oh you're dead and it doesn't work and uh, sometimes you know you try to start it up and then it'll just die back on you and you don't know what to do with it, it just it's like a brick it's it's a paperweight it's not fully functional it's like you're I don't know it's just not working and I'm just here to show you today how to make those problems go away and how to fix your iOS and your iPod touch so um, what you need to do is you make sure to open iTunes to get it function Checking it out. Okay, so it's opened up. Everything's going. Now, my device just sits like here in this Apple logo. It doesn't do anything. It just does that forever. And it doesn't get detected on my computer. So, there's nothing I can do, right? Well, to fix it, it's very simple. What you need to do is you have a sleep button right up here at the top. And have a home button. And you just need to click those at the same time and hold it. So, hold both of those buttons. Just keep holding until your device shuts off. Now, while it holds up, when it shuts off, let go of only the top button, the sleep button, and keep holding this home button until your computer goes crazy on you. Now you can let go of that home button and go to your iTunes screen, and it says uh, your iPod has been detected in recovery mode. So what you do is you just hit OK, because that's what you just did. You just put your iPod in recovery mode. And this is just to recover your iPod from a frozen state like it was and to fix it. So what you do is you just restore and it'll ask you uh, to set it to all factory settings. That means it's going to erase all of your media and all that stuff on your iPod. However, all of your media will still be on your computer so you can always restore it back onto your iPod, especially if you already have a backup saved. If you've synced your iPod before and you've seen backup and process or whatever, that means there's a backup on your computer and it will automatically restore your iPod from its previous state from when you left it. And so it's going to download it in the download section, possibly. Uh, see, like it's going to make sure I'm using the iOS 5. So now you just wait for it to finish processing the software. It'll instantly install it into your into your iPod, and then it'll restore everything, and you're good to go. And it should work for you. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment below and subscribe if this helped you out. And look forward to more iPod uh, jailbreaking videos, iOS reviews, uh, city uh, tricks and tips and so on, and other uh, cool videos like that for uh, your iDevices. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.